Have you ever wondered who the true king of the dinosaurs was? Was it the ferocious T-Rex or the colossal Spinosaurus? Most of us are familiar with the terrifying image of the T-Rex, a monstrous predator with bone-crushing jaws. Its fame is widespread, thanks in part to its starring role in popular culture. But lurking in the shadows of history is another contender for the title of king, the Spinosaurus. This spine-backed giant, sporting a crocodile-like snout, is less well-known but just as fascinating. Both these dinosaurs held the position of apex predators during their respective eras, ruling their domains with an iron fist. They were the tyrants of prehistory, each in their own right. But who was the true king? Size-wise, the Spinosaurus likely holds that title. But there's more to the story. Now let's dive into the prehistoric world and explore the lives of these magnificent creatures. Before we compare them, it's essential to understand when these dinosaurs roamed the Earth. The mighty Tyrannosaurus rex, often affectionately known as T-Rex, was a late bloomer in the dinosaur timeline. This colossal carnivore lived during the late Cretaceous period, roughly between 68 and 66 million years ago. This was right before the ultimate demise of these incredible creatures. On the other hand, the Spinosaurus, known for its distinct crocodile-like snout, roamed the Earth much earlier. This dinosaur lived during the early to late Cretaceous period, approximately from 112 to 93 and a half million years ago. Though their timelines didn't overlap, each of these colossal creatures ruled their respective epochs. Their reigns, though millions of years apart, left an indelible mark on the planet's history. Each in its own way, these dinosaurs reigned supreme in their time, and their legacy continues to fascinate us to this day. Though they lived millions of years apart, both dinosaurs left a significant mark on our planet. It's time to dive into the hunting habits of these prehistoric predators. The Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-Rex, was a creature of the land. This colossal creature was most likely an opportunistic feeder, which means it didn't just hunt live prey, but also scavenged carrion when the opportunity presented itself. With its powerful jaws capable of exerting a bite force of around 8,000 pounds, the T-Rex wasn't picky. It could crush bone, tear flesh, and devour almost anything that crossed its path. There's even evidence to suggest that T-Rex occasionally engaged in cannibalism. Now let's turn our attention to the Spinosaurus. Unlike the T-Rex, which was purely terrestrial, the Spinosaurus was likely semi-aquatic. This means it hunted both on land and in water, much like modern-day crocodiles. Its elongated crocodile-like snout was designed to catch fish, and its conical teeth were perfect for gripping slippery squirming prey. However, that's not to say it wouldn't take down larger prey if the opportunity arose. With its size and strength, the Spinosaurus could certainly hold its own against other giants of the Cretaceous period. So, there you have it. The T-Rex, an opportunistic land predator, and the Spinosaurus, a semi-aquatic hunter. Their hunting habits were as diverse as their habitats, revealing the adaptability of these prehistoric predators. What did these colossal carnivores feast on? Let's find out. The T-Rex, often considered the terror of the Cretaceous period, likely pursued large herbivorous dinosaurs. Imagine a beast, weighing up to 9 tons, charging at you with a speed of 20 miles per hour. It's a horrifying spectacle, isn't it? But that's what creatures like Triceratops and Edmontosaurus had to deal with. Now, let's sail to the rivers of the Cretaceous North Africa, where the Spinosaurus lurked. With its crocodile-esque snout and conical teeth, the Spinosaurus was a formidable fish hunter. It's believed to have feasted on giant coelacanths and sawfish, though it wouldn't turn down a small to medium-sized dinosaur if the opportunity presented itself. The prey of these predators paints a vivid picture of the richness of life during the Mesozoic era. From terrestrial giants to aquatic behemoths, the menu was diverse and plentiful. The diverse diet of these dinosaurs reflects the richness of life during their time. Now the question you've all been waiting for, who was the biggest? Let's take a moment to visualize this. Picture yourself standing next to a school bus. That's the approximate length of the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex, a colossal creature that stretched around 40 feet from snout to tail. With its robust body and powerful jaws, T-Rex was unquestionably a force to be reckoned with. But now, imagine something even grander. Picture yourself next to a bowling alley. That's right, the length of a standard bowling lane is comparable to the Spinosaurus, a dinosaur that could reach lengths of up to 59 feet. That's almost one and a half times the size of T-Rex. Spinosaurus, with its distinctive spinal sail and crocodile-like snout, was not just longer, but also likely heavier than its famous counterpart. 
This gigantic predator, with its unique adaptations, truly stands out as a marvel of nature's design. So, in the grand showdown of size, it's clear that the Spinosaurus holds the upper hand, or should we say, the upper claw. Despite T-Rex's fame and its portrayal as the ultimate predator in popular culture, it's the Spinosaurus that takes the crown as the largest known carnivorous dinosaur. Despite T-Rex's fame, it seems the Spinosaurus takes the title as the largest carnivorous dinosaur. A reminder that size isn't everything, but it sure does make a difference in the world of dinosaurs.